What's good everybody, it's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here and we're back with our NCAA Simulation Series and in this episode we have ourselves the Big 12 Championship game, the Red River Shootout times two for this year, you know what I mean, the rematch Texas was able to beat Oklahoma earlier in the year. A lot of people think that, you know, Oklahoma's learned a lot from them and uh, they're going to come back and do the damn thing and then others think Texas is just going to repeat what they do and play, you know what I mean, bracket buster of sorts when it comes to the college football playoffs because right now personally I have Oklahoma over Ohio State but if they lose this game you already know it's a wrap for Oklahoma all right man so this one your first time ever watching one of the simulation videos how we do it is housing difficulty and we're changing things up a little bit going down to three minute quarter length just because there's so many conference championship games I got about like six or seven total that I'm going to bring to you guys so in order for me to you know play them and get them out the way bumping it down from four to three see how that goes you know what I mean? I play as both teams' offenses. The only way I play as a team defense is if that team absolutely needs to make a stop, you know what I mean, or they're trying to make a stop to get back in the game or to, you know, take a, a, a last-second drive down the field to try to win if they're down a couple points. I don't push for any team, one team to win more than the others. Of course, I'm going to be better with some teams than the other, you know what I mean? But, um, I, you know what I mean, it's strictly for entertainment, and this in no way depicts how I feel like the game is going to go in real life. You know what I mean? So now that we got all of that out of the way, let's get into this ball game. Shoot the dice on the F. I lost it, then made it back. Bet it up, double that. Head crack, head crack. Get the cash, get the ass. Steve Nash with the pass. Got the drive, no crash. Only do beef with the mash. Plies voice, shoot Big Mac. I be dolo, but the game's with me. Never stopping if the tank was empty. Till we touring out in every city. Me and Grease on every titty. Yeah. I love you, girl, if you fucking with me. Loyalty, that means something to me. All right, man, here we are in Dallas, AT&T Stadium, Jerry World, you know what I mean, Cowboys Stadium, trying to come out here and get a good Big 12 championship game, man, so let's get it. All right, man, so Texas wins the coin toss. They elect to receive, and okay, so I guess when I play these neutral site games, um, it, it automatically brings it up from three or four minutes to five minutes, so it is what it is. I'm going to do what I did last episode for the uh, the Pac-12 championship game, and I'm going uh, to run the true clock. You know what I mean? Sporadically. And that um in that Pac-12 championship game, I feel like I, I did a good blend of true clock and not true clock, knowing when to and when not to do it. But starting off the game with Texas here, running the read option with Sam Ellinger. He's off to the races early, made a couple people miss. He's probably gonna get hawked from behind, but he's across the 50 down inside the 45-yard line. 36-yard rush to start off this ball game. If you guys remember earlier in the season, Oklahoma fired their defensive coordinator off of his uh defensive performance against Texas this year. This time, you know what I mean, they make a play. They stop Trey Watson in the backfield. This Red River shootout in the beginning of the year, man, that was one of the most exciting games of the season. Hopefully they can, you know, do it again for us. Ellinger has a man open as Duvernay. He spins off two defenders, and he's going to get in the end zone just like that. Texas put six on the board early. All right, here we go. Starting off with Oklahoma. One of the funnest offenses to play with in this game because of Kyler Murray. Let's get her done. Let's get it. We're starting off early. Well, check down at the backfield. Anderson actually loses four yard lines. Four yards. The fuck? All right, so that check down didn't go as planned. Oklahoma loses four. It's all good. Murray back to pass again. He's going to take a shot up top to Jones. And wow, what a catch from Michael Jones there. 24 yard pickup. You know what I mean? Let's look at this, this catch again. That was a beautiful throw. Perfectly in between the corner and the safety. And Michael Jones just goes up and makes a catch after getting lit up. All right, so Oklahoma picks up the first down there. Kyler Murray back to pass again. He has his tight end. Cal Cicatera, big time catch there, 22-yard pickup. These receivers of Oklahoma are taking some hits here, man, but they're still holding on to the ball for Kyler. Kyler Murray goes back over the middle to his tight end, Cal Cicatera. He stiff arms a man, finally brought down just shy of the 10. Kyler Murray is 4 for 4 here on this drive. Inside the red zone, trying to put some points on board. Read option, Kyler Murray keeps it. He's going to use his speed, jukes inside, and he's brought down after picking up six. All right, that's Kyler Murray's first incompletion there. Not the greatest of blocking. Murray back to pass again. Going back to his tight end, Calcaterra. Tries to force his way in the end zone. Gets stopped short, but he picks up the first. All right, here we go. First and goal here for Oklahoma. Four chances to try to get this ball in the end zone. Kyler Murray hands it off to Anderson and Rodney Harrison with the zero-yard touchdown. Oklahoma strikes back. All right, second and seven here for Texas. First start here in the second quarter. Ellinger back. He finds little Jordan Humphrey, and he picks up 11 yards. A lot of big, deep drop there from Ellinger, but he still strikes and hits his receiver. Texas offense is, is looking very potent right now. They're pretty much doing what they want. Ellinger back to pass again. He has a receiver. Hurd drops the pass, nearly picked off. That's Ellinger's first incompletion of the day. 
All right, so big time drop there by the Texas receiver. Texas is going to try to keep it on the ground now. Little read option from Ellinger. He has some blocks up front. He picks up the first down. Chains continue to move for Texas. All right, here we go. Another first down for Texas. Feel like we've been saying that pretty much all day here today. Ellinger back. Nobody's necessarily open. He checks down to Watson out the backfield, and he picks up seven. All right, here we are inside three minutes, second and three here for, for Texas. Oklahoma doesn't really have an answer for them defensively. Ellinger putting the moves on Oklahoma once again, and he falls forward for 14 yards. Ellinger, Ellinger on three carries has 61 yards on the ground today, over 20 yards a carry. Keep him more the same, another read option. Ellinger, he has space up front, and he's finally brought down inside the five-yard line. All right, first and goal, four chances to get into the end zone here for Texas. Ellinger under center. Hands it off to Watson. Watson tries to fight for it. He picks up three. All right, we're officially under two minutes here. Second and goal for Texas. Looks like they're going to try to keep it on the ground. Hand off to Watson, and this time Oklahoma stuffs that play. It's harder to score down here on the goal line. Texas finding that out the hard way. Ellinger, back to pass here. He has a man over the middle. It's little Jordan Humphrey. Throws it behind him a little bit, and he drops it, and Texas is going to have to settle for three. All right, minute 27 left here for Oklahoma. All three timeouts. Brown back here to return a kick, and he actually misjudges it, and it's a touchback. All right, so Colin Murray and company have a minute 27 left here, all three timeouts, and a chance to, you know, take the lead or tie the ball game up before the second half. Murray back. He has a man deep, busted coverage, and it's Jones, Michael, Michael Jones, with a big 54-yard reception all out the gate here in this drive, and uh, Oklahoma's threatening the score. Colin Murray knew he was going to get hit on that play, and he still delivered a strike to Jones, read option there. Murray has some blocking up front. Can he make a couple miss? He does break a tackle. He gets the first down, pushed out of bounds inside the 10. All right, second to goal here. Oklahoma looking to try to punch it in. Murray finds Lamb over the middle and he forces his way in the end zone and Oklahoma goes ahead and takes the lead. All right, so we got 35 seconds left in uh, all three timeouts for Texas. Can the Elliger and company put together a drive here? Let's see, Elliger back to pass. Not, not necessarily anybody open. He just gets rid of it. Oh, he's actually going to be hit up for grounding. He did not get outside of the tackle box. Oh. Elliger hit little Jordan Humphrey. And he's finally pushed out after picking up 39 yards. I don't know why I had a brain fart there and I wasn't speaking, you know, in the beginning of the play. But 23 seconds left for Texas here. Great throw from Ellinger. Trying to make it happen again. He has a man wide open over the middle. It's Beck. He falls down just short of the red zone. Texas putting together one hell of a drive here. You know what I mean? Down the stretch, trying to get some points on the board before the second half begins. Ellinger back. He has a man wide open. It's Duvernay. He tries to put a move on the corner, but he's brought down. All right, we go. 12 seconds left. One timeout left for Texas. Texas is going to get on the ball. No huddle. Ellinger calls his own number. He runs, and he's brought down inside the five-yard line. And Texas is going to have to settle for three, but at least they put points on the board before the second half. All right, the kick for Texas is up, and it is good, and Texas is heading into the second half, only down one. All right, man, so at the half, Oklahoma has the one-point lead, 14-13. These teams are putting on an absolute show for us. Let's see who's going to come out and uh, put in the rest of the work here in the second half. All right, so Oklahoma is starting off the second half here with the Rock. Let's see if they can put more points on the board here. Colin Murray's been playing absolutely insane. Checks it down to Rodney Anderson. He's brought down. All right, second and seven here for Oklahoma. Colin Murray, read option, keeps it himself. Can he get the blocks he needs? He does. All right, Colin Murray using that speed. He's just tripped up after getting across the 40. Oklahoma's one for one here today on third down conversions. Third and seven. They opt to keep it on the ground. Rodney Anderson picks up a good chunk of yards, good chunk of yards, 10 to be exact. They get the first down and more. All right, here we go. First and 10 for Oklahoma. Colin Murray's moving the ball. He's got us tied in over the middle. Calcaterra, he has a couple men to beat. Can he get into the end zone? He's just brought short at the one-yard line. All right, Oklahoma first and goal. They're two for two here in the red zone today. Can they make it three for three? Read option there from Colin Murray. He's going to walk into the end zone untouched. All right, so Texas gets the ball back down eight here in the third quarter. Good game so far. Ellinger back to pass. Nobody's quite getting open for him. He's unable to get rid of – he's unable to get – around the defender so he throws it away second and ten here for texas let's see what they got ellinger back to pass he hits little jordan humphrey and it looks like he was going to break the tackle but he's eventually tripped up 20 yard percent all right second and four for texas sam ellinger switching things up a little bit 
Going to a play action here. He's back. He's got a man open. Can he make the throw? He does. Duvernay, big time catch, and he's just short of the 20-yard line. All right, third and 13 here. Not looking too good for Texas. Let's see what they can make happen. Elegers audible in some plays, audible in some players out here. Doesn't necessarily see the open guys. He's going to take a shot across his body to Trey Watson. Big time catch from Trey Watson. And that's going to do it here in the third quarter. You know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. Get those fours up. Oklahoma has the eight-point lead over Texas. Great championship game right here. Can't wait to see who's going to come out on top. All right, here we go. First and goal for Texas. They're two for two in the red zone here today. Two field goals, though. Elliger keeps it, and he picks up two. All right, here we go. Second and goal for Texas. They really need to get a, get a touchdown here. They don't need to settle for three. Elliger, little play action. He has a man in the back of the end zone, and it's picked off by Jones. Ellinger's hit as he throw as he's throw as he throws it, and he's unable to get everything on the pass. And uh, that's a big time play there from Oklahoma. All right, so we're actually going to stay on the offensive side of the ball here. I'm mean, on the defensive side of the ball here with Texas, seeing if we can get the ball back. And just like that, Rodney Anderson with a big old run. Can he get Hawk down from behind? Lock the third. Finally brings him down. Oklahoma uh, offense is so hard to stop. You know what I mean? It looks like it's definitely going to be a pass play here. Look out for the screen. Oh, I tried to. Wow. Boyd just is able to push his man out of bounds. I was killing triangle there. I definitely thought we were going to get an animation on the ball, but great throw from Kyler Murray. All right, here we go. First and 10 here for Oklahoma. On the 15 yard line, they're running the option. Oh, wow. I thought we played that great. And Kyler Murray picks up a good chunk of yards, eight yards to be exact. It's very difficult playing with these squads, man, but we're going to try to make it do what it does. Another option, and nobody takes over the running back. And just like that, Oklahoma puts six more on the board. All right, so 319 left. Texas is down 15 points. They definitely need to score rather quickly here. Jamison back here on the kick return. He has some decent blocking, and uh, he's just able to get to, like, the 23-yard line. All right, third and six here. Let's see what we can get. He's got Duvernay over the middle, and he's able to hold on to that catch. Big-time catch from Devin Duvernay there. 236 left here in this ballgame. Ellinger back. Shotgun, empty backfield, back to pass again. He's taking a shot deep. He throws in a double coverage, and luckily it is not picked off. 228 left here in this ball game. Texas wants to score without having to use any of their timeouts because they need to save them for defense. Hellinger getting out of the pocket. He's got some running room. Can he pick up the first? He does. Texas needs to get on the ball. All right, here we go. Second and 10. Hellinger has a man off the line. It's Lil Jordan Humphrey, and of course he comes up with the catch. Big time catch there. Texas is running no huddle back on the ball. All right, first and 10. Ellinger's in the zone a little bit here. See if he can make a big time throw. He goes up and is picked off by Norwood. And that's pretty much going to do it here in this ball game. Ellinger throws his second pick of the game. All right, so Texas is getting the ball back with 17 seconds left here. Still down 15, but they, you know, they're going to show off the little fight that they have. Ellinger tries to go deep, but he takes a hit. Come on, Ellinger. There we go. There we go. All right. So Texas is going to end this game with a little bit of pride. Ellinger making a big pass there, but you know what I mean? Just a little too late. He needed that earlier in the ball game. He's getting out of the pocket, trying to do it with his legs, and he falls forward into the end zone. You know what I mean? It, take, it will take a miracle for Texas to win this ball game, but let's see if we can get just that. One side kick coming for Texas here. I've never been good at these in this game. We're going to try it here now, though. Let's go. There's a kick in Texas. Nearly gets the ball back. It was actually one hell of an onside kick. Okay, they touched it too early. All right, I was about to say, they really had a chance there to, to, to get it done. But, you know, illegal touching, and uh, that's going to do. All right, so Oklahoma's coming out in the victory formation. They're going to go ahead and take a knee to secure this Big 12 championship. Clock's going to hit triple zeros, and that's going to be all she wrote. All right, man, so this was a fun game to play. Sam Ellinger, final stats, 14 for 24, 342, two touchdowns, two picks, 58 completion percentage, 25 yards per completion, 78 was his longest of the day. Uh, for Oklahoma, Kyler Murray, 11 for 13, 212, a touchdown, no picks, 84 completion percentage, 20 yards per completion, 54 was his longest of the day, sacked once. Rushing for Oklahoma, Rodney Aaron Anderson, 11 for 78, two touchdowns, Kyler Murray, 9 for 40 in a touchdown. Texas, Sam Ellinger, 8 for 88, no touchdowns, Trey Watson, 5 for 7. 
Receiving for Texas, Devin Duvernay, 5 for 185, two touchdowns. Little Jordan Humphrey, 4 for 90. Trey Watson, 2 for 28. Beck, 2 for 39. Hurd had one drop, and uh, it, Hurd had one drop, and Collins didn't even uh, get um, for Oklahoma. Leading receiver, Cal Cetera, 4 for 89, no touchdowns. Uh, Anderson had 2 for negative 1. Marquise Brown, 2 for 38. Uh, Michael Jones, 2 for 78. And uh, C.D. Lamb, 1 for 8 in a touchdown. Defensively for Oklahoma, Robert Barnes led the squad in tackle six all solo, followed by Radley Howes and uh, Parnell Motley. The one, two picks were caught, one from Ryan Jones. The other was by Trey Norwood. That was his only uh, stats of the game. Uh, no sacks here for Oklahoma. Um, a few tackles for loss. And then for Texas, P.J. Locke, the third, led the squad in tackles with six all solo. And then a bunch of people had three, Nelson Jones, um, o o Omen, I can't say his name, excuse me. One to one sack went to uh, Brecken Hager. No picks were caught on this side of the ball. Um, both defenses played pretty good, man, but those picks by Ellinger didn't necessarily give the Texas defense that great of a position. That's going to do it for this episode, man. If you enjoyed, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know who you guys think or you know is going to win this game. I love to hear you guys' feedback every single time. Subscribe if you're new. Once you subscribe, hit the little bell. Notif hit the little bell. That way you get a notification every time we post a video. You won't miss these. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.